the diagram shows the sketch of the curve y is equal to x squared plus 5x plus 4. The point P on the curve has x coordinate minus 5. At point Q, the curve cuts the x-axis. Use calculus to find the equation of the normal to the curve at P and find where this normal intersects the x-axis. So the normal will be a sort of a, a line here which is perpendicular to the tangent. And then in part B, it says find the area enclosed by the curve and the x-axis. So if we want to find the y-coordinate of P, then we put minus 5 into this. So we're going to get minus 5 squared plus 5 times minus 5 plus 4. And if we work that out, it's going to give me 4. So we've got y is equal to x squared so we've got y is equal to x squared plus 5x plus 4. So we're going to find now the gradient of p. So that means I now need to differentiate this curve. So that dy by dx is going to bring that 2 down in front, reduce down the power, so you get 2x. When you differentiate 5x, you just get 5. We need to substitute x is minus 5 into that. So at x is minus 5, because this is the coordinate here, we get dy by dx is 2 times minus 5 plus 5 which is minus 10 plus 5, which is minus 5. But that's the gradient of the tangent, uh, which I call mt. But I want to find the gradient of the normal. But I know that the product of the gradient of the tangent times the gradient of the normal is minus 1. This is the condition for perpendicular lines. The normal and the tangent are perpendicular to each other. So minus 5 times mn is equal to minus 1 which means mm is minus 1 over minus 5, which is 1 fifth. So we can see that the normal is going to go this way, and the tangent is this way. So we've got the gradient of the normal is 1 fifth, and we've got p is the coordinate uh, minus 5, 4. Using y minus y1 is equal to mn x minus x1, or you can use y is equal to mx plus c if you prefer that method. I prefer this method. We know that this is x1, y1. This is mn. So we get y minus 4 is equal to the gradient 1 fifth x minus minus 5. Be careful when you substitute in. So we're going to get y minus 4 minus 1 fifth of x. So this becomes plus 5 times 1 fifth, which becomes plus 1. If we now add 4 to this side, we get that the equation of the normal will be y is equal to 1 fifth x plus 5. We should relate back to the graph and see if that's sort of an unreasonable answer as well, which it appears to be. We need to find where this line cuts the x-axis. It's somewhere going to be somewhere down here. I'm going to cut the x-axis. So on the x-axis, y is equal to 0. So 0 is equal to 1 fifth of x plus 5. So taking the x over the other side, we're going to have minus 5 is 1 fifth of x x is equal to minus 25, does seem like it's an unreasonable answer. And the normal intersects the x-axis at the coordinates minus 25, 0. That's part A. Now part B, we have to find this area here. It says the area of the curve enclosed by the curve and the x-axis. Problem is we don't know the coordinate at this point. We also need to know the coordinate of this point here in order to set up our integration. So the x coordinate, q, is x squared plus 5x plus 4 is equal to 0. This is quite a simple one to factorise, which is x plus 4, x plus 1, which means x is equal to minus 4 at this particular point, and x is equal to minus 1 at that point here. So minus 4, minus 1. So we need to set up the integral. So the area will be the lower bound, which is minus 4, to the upper bound, which is minus 1, of the function x squared plus 5x plus 4 dx. Make sure you write down the integral correctly with the correct notation. Don't forget the dx at the end. Integrating term by term. So the first one will be x add 1 to the power, which is 3, and divide by the new power. Next one will be 5x squared over 2. When you integrate a constant term, you get you just put in an x, 4x, and we get minus 4 to minus 1. OK, you put the upper bound first and then the lower bound. You need to do this with great care in this case because these are both negative. So lots of brackets. So minus 1 cubed over 3 plus 5 times minus 1 squared over 2 plus 4 times minus 1 
in, take away the whole thing. Uh, minus 4 over 3, we're now putting the lower limit in. Plus 5 times minus 4 squared over 2. Plus 4 times minus 4. That now gives me uh, minus 1 third, because when you cube a negative number, you get a minus number. 5 times minus 1, so it's 5 over 2. Try not to do too much in one go. 4 times minus 1 makes minus 4. Keep that minus sign, we'll keep the bracket in, and then we get minus 4 cubed, which is minus 64 over 3, plus 5 times uh, 16, minus 4 squared is 16 over 3, which gives 40, uh, four, uh, 80 divided by 2, which is 40, and then minus 16. We'll now remove this bracket. So it's minus 1 third, plus 5 over 2, minus 4, plus 64 over 3, plus 40 minus 6, plus 16. So making sure you change all the signs there. And, look. and take your calculator out and use the fraction button and you'll get minus 4.5. Now, you can't give the answer of minus 4.5 because the question asks for the area. The minus sign just tells us that that area is below the x-axis. So we have to say that the area is 4.5 square units we do not need the negative sign so be careful in an exam if it asks for the area you're going to lose a mark if you don't change that to 4.5 okay so this has been a video to show you how to find the normal of a uh, quadratic find where that normal hits uh, cut intersects the x-axis and then find the area enclosed by the curve and the x-axis i hope you've understood and i thank you very much for watching